morning friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. It's 5.30 in the morning. I'm trying to get up a little bit earlier. Anyways, we're going to head out for a little walk. It's chilly down here. I just turned the furnace on, actually. Well, it turned it up. Um, yeah, it's cold. It's cold down here, so it must be really cold outside. Well, I say that. Anyways, I'll be back. All right, friends, we're back. I half unloaded the dishwasher, meaning I unloaded the dishes I needed to make my coffee. I'll finish it after. But um, I warmed up. There was a little bit of chicken and curry, chicken curry, curry chicken, and rice last last night. Uh, Mazaya called dibs on it, so I heated that up and put it in a thermos for for lunch. They really, really. Hardly any at all, but that's what she wanted. There was enough for, like, a little thermos. And, um, got the rest of the kids' stuff in their lunch kettles. And, yeah, yeah. It was hard getting up earlier. I need to train my body to do that again, because it was really, really nice being able to get up super early. And I had most of my housework done before the kids even opened their eyes for the day. But... A half hour at a time. I can do it. I can do it. So we went for a walk. She took care of her business. I have my coffee. I'm going to finish this stinking book. For goodness sakes. I just, I got so busy yesterday. I couldn't. And then I got so tired. I just didn't. So I'm going to do that now. And it should take me 15 minutes. Like there's only a few pages. It's just one of those things. I'll get up here, Violet. Are you not jumping up here because of that pillow? There. Come on. Goodness sakes. And today is Tuesday. We need to... I'll show you those tomatoes. I didn't even take them out of the slow cookers yesterday. If you see my video yesterday, I washed up, cut up, and put in four slow cookers. A whole whack of tomatoes because I'm going to make tomato sauce today. Or, well, I'm not even going to season it. It's just going to be tomatoes, pretty much. Pureed. Concentrated down. Um, the little one that was over beside the coffee maker yesterday, I shut off first because it's the smallest and it, it uh, concentrated down fastest. The, where's the other one? The one over by the toaster, I just shut off, but I had turned it on low last night when I went to bed and left the lid sideways. And same with the one over on the bench, I left sideways. And then the one over beside Cornelius, I turned off last night because it was, I mean, there's still a little liquid in it. There is. I'm going to end up putting it all together, probably in Harriet. I'll be lucky to get six to eight quarts of tomato sauce from all that we'll see i don't know it doesn't look like very much once it's all whittled down to what it is so anyways i'll be back in a little bit i don't know what i'm going to do for supper i do have a freezer meal i could use but i have a bunch of frozen hamburger too i could do something with so i don't know we'll figure something out oh it is a very fall october day like there's an orange hue to the sky Oh gosh. Um what? Oh, why don't you come over here, Devin? The what was it? Yeah, what did Devin say though? He can go over, he can't, he has to stay there now, so. Oh. All right, yeah, it's pretty chilly out. I can see your breath, uh, huffing and puffing. <clears throat> All right, here comes the bus. Devin, the bus is coming. No, Violet. She's interested in the sound. Yeah.
All right. You're on fire, Zai. You're all black and white today. Sneakers and everything. <laughs> Violet, stop. It's just Devin. All right. Love ya. Have a good day at school. Sheesh. My toes are cold. I just have my flip flops on. Yeah. Where they go? Let's go get Manly. All right, guys, it's 7:41. I got the dishwasher going. I don't got jars in there yet because I had to do what I had here first. But now there's still some liquid in here. This one is cold. This one is warm. Not hot, but warm. Cold, warm. Now, if you remember these yesterday, they were like right up to the top. Right up to the top. And last night, the ones that I left on low, the lids were like this. So it slowly evaporated. I stirred these when I got up. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get Harriet a oat. I don't know. It should probably all fit in Harriet. She is a big girl. If not, I'll get my big stock pot. But yeah, I want to take some pictures just so you can see the before and after of four slow cookers full of tomatoes. All right, I'm trying to find my friggin' tripod thing because I want to set you guys up. But where the hi heck is it? Maybe I left it outside. When was the last time I used it, Violet? When was it? She's giving me the stink eye. I'm losing my friggin' mind. Do you want me to not do this? February? Yeah. <laughs> trying to find my tripod, I still can't. Guys, I am going friggin' insane. I can't find my tripod. But I did find the little black light that has a place to hold my phone. So I gotta set you guys over there. Otherwise, you'd be staring at my belly button. So, <sighs> frustrating. It's 8.07. I'm going to try to dump all of this tomato into Harriet. Yeah, this is the cool one. Huh? Well, it was on, but it's not hot. Oh, gosh. I'm hoping she holds it all. Tomato. I'll probably um, simmer this on the stove a little bit longer because I still need to wash jars and stuff. But it'll get off a little more liquid and I can keep an eye on it. And then we're going to puree it in the food processor and then we're going to can it up. Now, usually I water back can tomato sauce, but you can pressure can it, and I'm going to do that today because pressure canning only takes like 10 minutes, well, after you vent it and all that stuff, so all, all together, probably a half hour, whereas if you water bath can, I think it's like 35, 40 minutes, which is fine too. I just got my pressure canners here, and I can water bath can in a pressure canner, but I just want to be done. Uh, I don't want to be waiting and waiting and waiting. Not that that's super long, but you know, I'll probably just pressure can it. Long story short, I'm going to pressure can my tomato sauce. And yeah, with all those tomatoes, I mean, I'll, I'll get a few. Yeah, I'll say no more than eight, and I'll be lucky if I get eight, I'm thinking. I might be off, but 
No, I found that little black light. So I'm going to set them over there and we'll be staring at my belly button. So I can't. I've got that paw. But I'll get you guys off so you can take a good gander at this. All right, see? Some cooked down, almost like stewed potato, uh, tomatoes, not potatoes. And so since I'm going to wash these jars in the dishwasher, and that's another reason I'm going to pressure can too, but the jars will be hot when I take them out of the dishwasher. So I want my sauce to be hot. And if you pressure can, you don't have to sanitize your jars or sterilize your jars in the oven. If you water bath can, it needs to do that. But I'm just eliminating steps that I don't feel like doing. But I'm going to get this on the stove. I'll wash those today. What? It'll still taste the same, yeah. So, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Wait. We're outside waiting for the bus. There's Mally's animal cell she made. Violet, you're not going there. I'm just waiting for Kara to come out. You're not going under there right now. I only got you on the short leash. Oh, the ghosts are looking, Mally. The ghosts are looking. Uh -huh. Oh, Marquise is coming out too. Get. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Hey. Hi. Please don't record me on the premises. <laughs> I don't mean to be that guy. I just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Really, please, no cameras. <laughs> okay. Kara doesn't mind. I mind. All right, I'm not getting you, Mally. You just didn't get me. <clears throat> you better be careful. I don't need you to fall and bump your noggin. Can't fall off Why are you acting like a little kid? <laughs> Do that to uh, Ernie. <laughs> to the roll ball? Yes. <laughs> Ernie McCracken. Do you know who that is? No, I know Phil McCracken. You know Phil, you're cracking, yeah. <laughs> Not appropriate, Violet. <laughs> All right, have a good day. Oh, have a good day, Mally. Love ya. Have a good day, Kara. Love ya. <laughs> love ya. I don't know. He might have told me the first day, but I forget. He always stays over there. He waves, Did you though. Talk to him? Oh, yeah, the first day. He waves when, when you're filming? No, like if he's walking up the road and I'm walking out here, he'll wave. Hi. Hi. Hi, how you do? Bye, children. Bye. <laughs> oh, Kara. <laughs> oh, Kara. Oh, Come on, Violet. We're going in. Oh, you're turning me a. We're doing the hokey pokey. Do I think you can jump over it? Yes. Do it. <laughs> yes. Don't film it. Yes, I have to film it. Don't film it. I will. Then don't do it. Violet, stop pulling me. I will if you make it. I'll put it on. Okay. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> All right. Parkour. Why are you still filming? <laughs> Cuz. All right. I turned those tomatoes back on. I shut them off when I went out because I'd be so upset if I scorched them. But I turned them back on. They're just on medium now until it comes up. But these are those mushrooms I did yesterday. Look at that fine powder. Fine powder. I feel like breaking bad. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking. But I wouldn't do that. But, I have some jars here. I'm going to set up some sort of a system, because I don't want to spill any. Maybe I'll put a cookie sheet down and line it with something. And do it that way, perhaps. But, you can see, if you followed my yesterday, these are, well, the past few days. I dehydrated mushrooms.
and then I ground them in the food processor and then I ground them in the spice grinder and then I dehydrated them again. These were the ones that were still a little gummy. They seriously look like flakes of parsley or something like that. Like it's still mushroom. I'm not going to grind them again. I could make them this fine powder, but I'm just going to leave these as is. I'll just keep them in a separate jar. And then there's that powder again. So yeah, let me get set up. have a rough night last night or something all right well you can't I gotta stand back but what I have here is a broiler pan this and since it's already kind of folded I'm hoping I can be clever enough to do this mushroom powder Then I have a jar with the funnel. I made sure my jar is nice and dry. I should have had a pint jar up here, but um, I don't have any, I'd have to wash it and make sure it was super dry and I just, I don't got time for that. So I'm using these cause I have these. Right, let's do that again. It looks like I'm gonna have, I, I have some more over there if I need to. Half pint jars, I mean. This will not fit in that jar, so I gotta be careful. I wonder if I. I think between two jars, I should be able to do it. Because there's still a little room in that one. And then the flakes. A mushroom will go in a separate jar. This is that fruit roll up thing. It kind of bends, but I only had one, and I think this must have went with one of my other dehydrators because this didn't fit on these trays, so I had to put it right on the very bottom. But that works. probably an hour just to try to get some more of that liquid evaporated off then I'll cool it down I still need to go down and get some jars from the basement but I'll cool it down blitz it in my food processor and then we can can it up easy so it's quite a lot of process this is about the smallest amount of tomatoes I would bother canning like ideally I'd like a truck full like our big Chevy Silverado truck bed full of tomatoes. That's what I'd like to can, but this is enough for a few jars, which is good, but any less tomatoes than this, I'd want to save until I could do a big lot. 
Ooh. Is that going to work? Oh, it does. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. That's just like powder. A couple of tablespoons or teaspoons of that. And we'd be sitting pretty in a soup or casserole or whatever. What's that? Just keep these in a cool, dry place. I'll probably keep one upstairs and one downstairs in my basement. And I will label it mushroom powder. I see one of you guys, um, I gotta sit down, mentioned you, Dizzy Chef, or Chef Dizzy. Yeah, I, I love you, girlfriend, I do. Um, she said she did tomato powder, spinach powder, onion powder, mushroom powder and I'm just like oh my god oh my god oh my goodness I'm gonna have to leave it with my dehydrators because I'm like I see greens all the time it'd probably take a mountain of greens to fill a jar but imagine that and tomatoes if I seen tomatoes instead of trying to hoard them in my deep freezer so I have a big lot to can I could I dehydrated tomatoes before so I have pieces of tomatoes but tomato powder like never even thought Never even thought. So. Now, I'll probably put my dehydrators away right now because this week, you know, it's a holiday week. Here in Canada, it's our Thanksgiving week. I know you guys in the States don't have Thanksgiving until November. Ours is like next weekend. And I usually have my big fat Thanksgiving dinner on a Saturday. So, I'm having a big dinner, whether everybody can come or not, and I do have a turkey. I'm going to town on Thursday because I have to get, um, well, I don't have to, but I want to. I have to get Saritha's groceries. So, since I have to go into town anyways, I'm going to get whatever I'm going to need that I can think that I'll need for Saturday from Thursday on I need to start prepping I need to start prepping I need to uh, make sure I have I didn't even make my friggin list I should do that I usually do like a big list of stuff now all that filled one jar so you know awesome let me just get another Now these lids, lids that I'm using have been used before. I don't throw away my lids unless they're like damaged. But these would have been used for some sort of canned good that I've used in the past. But they work perfect for things like that. So mushroom flakes and two mushroom powders. Genius. Yes. Not genius. But, you know, for me it is. It's my first time doing it. And it was really simple it was a bit time consuming but simple and I had well it'd be hard if you didn't have a food processor or a spice grinder I suppose you could do it but it would just be a lot of work but anyways yeah I'm excited I'm excited so I'll bring you back in a bit I'm gonna clean up this mess and yeah stir that tomato for a little bit longer I need to empty the dishwasher it's done now so I need to go down and get some jars and I'll stick those in and before you know it, we'll be canning up some tomato sauce. All right, I emptied the dishwasher. I went down and got some bottles, but they certainly have to be washed because it's a dusty old box. But they'll go in with a few straggle dishes and we'll do them up. All right, the dishwasher's still going. I just rotated the laundry. I shut the pot off. I filled my canners like with the water that's supposed to be in there with a splash of vinegar. I have one towel to hang up. I brought out one basket of laundry. This is number two. So I need to get folded while I wait for the dishwasher to be done and the sauce to cool down.
right, I'm done that laundry. It's even all away, believe it or not. Yes, it is. But this is still warm, but it's not super hot, but it's still pretty hot. <laughs> but I can't wait. I'm going to start uh, blitzing it in the food processor. And uh, the dishwasher's still going. So I'm just going to, yeah, power through this. I still haven't found my stinking tripod, so I'll show you pictures along the way. So there's the sauce, and there's the sauce after it's been blitzed. Now if I was getting real finicky, I would strain this if I wanted to get any kind of seeds or any chunks out, but I really don't care, Sally, so I'm just going to set this aside and fill her back up. Alright, there it is. Not too shabby. Nice and smooth and funky. Oh, you know that one? Anyways, um, I'm going to get the jars out of the dishwasher. They're going to be good and hot. I'm going to turn the burners on low on there so the water in the canner. I put hot water in there before, but it's been sitting for a while. But if we're going to have hot jars, kind of hot sauce, we need to have some hot uh, canners. So I need to get my lifters and I need my, yeah, I need to get a few more things. Can you see me? You can kind of see me. I'm going to put an apron on, even though I'm wearing black, but my friend Velva gave me some aprons. And I want to wear one. So, she gave me two. And it has a pocket, so that's awesome. Anyways, our internet's not working right now. I'm going to call them. Maybe we didn't pay the bill. I don't know, but, or maybe they're working on it. I don't know. We pay the bill, guys, but I'm just like, what, what, what the what? Anyways, I do have videos on um, how I can tomato sauce. I have you guys sitting on that little tripod, not my good one, sitting on top of the wood ash box, sitting on top of the chair. But... Yeah, I have videos on this and I'll try to remember to put them in the link down below. But basically, you got to make sure you always check your jars. Make sure there's no nicks or scratches in them, especially in the top, because it won't seal. Or anywhere in the jar, really, because then it uh, will bust in the canner and then you got to write the proper mess. So, there's that thing. And then, since I'm pressure canning this, these jars are clean. They're clean, but if I was water bathing them, I'd put them in the oven, I think at 215 for about 15 minutes, something like that. Um, but they're going to be in the pressure canner, so the whole sanitizing sterilization is going to be so stinking hot in there, it's going to kill every single thing that could possibly be. So, anyways, I have uh, some lemon juice here. I guess you put lemon juice because, to make, like the acidity, something, I don't know. I don't know and I don't have Google to ask and I don't feel like digging out my books but I'm adding almost two tablespoons. If I had citric acid, you don't have to add so much citric acid but I don't so I got lemon juice. I actually went down to the store today before the kids left on the school bus, um, like before Mally and Kara left on the school bus to get this because I'm like, oh God. I don't have any lemon juice and I don't have any citric acid. There. I'll only do three at a time because I don't know how much sauce. I'm thinking maybe six. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm not even going to use a scoop. I put them in these. So. And it's still pretty hot. <laughs> Oh, I was going to add a little salt too. You don't, I don't think you have to add salt, but I'm going to add a little bit. I would have done that beforehand just because I'll just add a teaspoon. Uh, but I'm using pickling salt, not table salt. Or you can use kosher salt. Just don't use an iodized salt. Now, I'm going to just, since I have the thing already there, 
I'm going to debubble it. Make sure, try to get any air bubbles out. There, I already made a mess down the side of this one. For goodness sakes, Tracy. Uh, okay. Now, this has been blitzed, but I mean, it's still, there's still a few chunks. You don't even have to do that. You can just, well, you can raw can tomatoes. I have a video on that too. Canning whole tomatoes. Take the core out and just can it. Um, you can do that too. And they per turn out perfectly fine. So, but you could have just stewed these tomatoes like that. These are kind of like, I guess, crushed tomatoes. I don't know. Whatever. But I just wanted to make it smooth like a sauce. Just because. Like I, I could have put seasonings in here, but it's just, I like to uh, keep stuff plain because we have lots of seasonings in our cupboard and you just never know how you want to doctor something up and I just don't want to have this as a one trick pony pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce or be different if it was canning like bottles of chili, you can do that. but. I just wanted straight up tomato sauce. There. And thank you to Margot, my beautiful mother-in-law, that gave me these tomatoes. And yes, somebody said, give all those tomatoes, she must have a huge garden. Yes, she does have a huge garden. And she grows a whole bunch of stuff. Don't worry, I'm getting the rest of that. Just let me get this going. I didn't end up um, emptying, oh, that might be a little too much. Emptying all of the dishwasher that I will after. and salt to this one. Oh, and I didn't even debubble these. Now it's kind of impossible to get all air bubbles out of stuff, you know, unless it's broth. But do your darndest. It's not too bad for that amount of tomatoes. We've got seven. Seven uh, quarts. Not too shabby. Yeah, that one should be okay. There. Now. Oh, I was about to throw it right in there with the clean dishes. Now, uh, oh, yeah, there's a little, little, little. I can't even, I can't even. Just 
just in case. That one I might have put too much in. First of all, I gotta clean off the side of that jar because it's all down the side. What the heck was I thinking? These aren't too hot now, I can handle them. Alright, so now we just wipe the rims. Uh, with vinegar or hot water to make sure there's nothing on the rim of the jar so the lid can actually seal down nice and tight with nothing obstructing it like I'm a professional but just go around this will be the quickest friggin pressure canning session in regards to like it's only 10 minutes usually when I pressure can something's at least an hour sometimes 45 minutes I think mushrooms are 45 minutes but 10 minutes once well once it comes up to snuff and you vent the thing for 10 minutes that means letting the steam come out of the top for 10 minutes full force put the timer on for 10 minutes and then after that you put the weight on and then you wait for it to start twerking and then you adjust the heat and put the timer on for 10 minutes and that's it and it might be able to fit all of these in one canner i'm hoping my big fatty i prepped both of them just because i wasn't sure and yeah so this that's a lot of tomatoes for this amount of sauce but it's very concentrated it's very concentrated so that's good all right now I need the rings and I just do it fingertip tight I don't do it super hard like with all my strength fresh tomatoes in February why not or I like to usually have lasagna and stuff for Christmas Eve I can make a lasagna out of this or cabbage rolls mm. if I use this stuff it's gonna be for something made with love like real love so anyways I'm gonna get these over to the camera and I'll meet you there all right I'm just blowing the top of this to make sure it's not blocked. Oh, where's my gasket? There's my gasket. I want to dry this off. Um, yeah, this is the gasket that goes in under the lid. And if this doesn't seal to the canner, it's not going to build up the pressure. So I wash this in between every time that I use it. And there's lips. I should dry there. See the there's lips here. Um, it needs to go under the lips for it to have a proper for it to do its job right. Under, under. Yeah, there we go. I was about to put it on. Don't even have any jars in there yet. Okay. 
So it's gonna work. Perfect, like a glove. Look at that. Just look at it. So now I'm gonna turn the burner on high and get the lid on. And I didn't need my tall skinny one, but I better be safe than sorry. wait for this this will take a little bit there's a little red poker right here um, when the pressure is in this canner this poker will poke up and if that happens you can't fiddle with this at all um, but that's gonna be a little while yet so yeah we got to wait for this to come up to snuff I'm gonna finish emptying the dishwasher prep the table for when the jars come out and I'll be back All right, still hasn't come up to snuff, but I called our internet provider and they're gonna give me a call back. And yeah, there was a notice that there was an interruption, but it's an HRM, which is Halifax Regional Municipality. <clears throat> but I'm not in Halifax, so there's an interruption here. The thing is our telephone number, like our home landline number is a Halifax number, so they must think that I'm in Halifax, I don't know. But hello, I'm not in Halifax, so I need to speak to somebody to find out, let them, know that there's an interruption here out in the boondocks too, for goodness sakes. All right, that's almost up to when I start putting the timer on, but I just took a chicken wrapper pie. I made June 8th. I'm gonna stick that in the oven here in a little bit. And that's what supper's gonna be. All right, you can see that little red poker is up now. The timer's on for 10 minutes. We gotta let it do this for 10 minutes and then we put a weight on top of it. All right, guys, my internet people called me back just as I was about to put the weight on and talk to you guys. But all I did, the timer went off after the 10 minutes and I just put the weight on and it's still on high, like the burner's still on high. I need to wait for little Miss Thing here to start twerking and shaking her booty. And then I just turn the heat down between a six and a seven and I'll put the timer on for 10 minutes. So she will take a minute maybe. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow, but once she starts, you'll know, you'll know. She makes a god-awful racket, and it can scare the bejesus out of you if you've never done it before. But anyways, we'll just wait for her to start dancing, and then we set the timer. Oh, she's just starting. Shake it, baby, shake it, baby, shake it. All right, so... Now I'm just going to put this down between a 6 and a 7, and I'll put the timer on for 10 minutes. All right, the timer just went off for the 10 minutes. Oh, my internet's just getting back up. I'm getting a whole bunch of notifications. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the timer went off, and all I did was shut the burner off. I didn't move the pot. I didn't take the weight off. I need to wait until that little red poker goes down which can take a little while, half hour or so maybe. But I'm gonna spin over to the other house. I need to pick up some boxes and I'll just check on things. By the time I get back, I wanna go do that now so I can be back, but I need to put that rock your pie in the oven first. There it is, solid as a rock. Um, I'm gonna cover it back up. I'll put the oven on 350 and let it go a couple hours. Just, it's all cooked. And it's a French Acadian dish. I do have videos on this, but it's pretty much potato meat potato, but it's not regular potato. It's juiced potatoes. So you take the potato pulp, reconstitute the potato with some really rich broth until it gets a jelly consistency. And then you layer it like a lasagna and bake it for three hours. And Bob's your uncle. It's rapper pie. There you go. So I'm just going to get that in now and spin out the door. All right. It's 1139. So... That's still sitting in the canner, but it's fine. I just told Marquise not to touch it. I got my main squeeze here. We're gonna spin over to the house. And I brought a carbonated water. I don't feel like in a big rush or anything like that because nobody's gonna mess with my canner. Uh, my husband's gone somewhere, I don't know, but we got the big bad truck and uh, 
we're gonna work it. All right, we're done at the house. Um, I there were some bags there. I'm gonna donate like clothes and stuff at one of those Red Cross bins downtown. But it's a beautiful day. Look at that. That's the Bay of Fundy, and you can see the ferry come in and out. It's not there now, but oh yeah, one step forward, two steps back. But as long as we keep moving, we keep moving. Anyways, there's something over here in the mailbox. And this is a like dead end road, a pri not a private road, but a quiet road. How's that? Oh gosh, there's a bunch of bunch of stuff in here. There. Just curious, you guys from all over the world, what would you pay for a house like this? You know what I mean? It's not a great big house, but you know, it's a big yard. Has a beautiful view. Yeah. Just curious. All right, it's 10 to 1. I just got home. I see my husband picked up <laughs> chicken tenders and stuff. But I got that raw pie in the oven, so they can have this or that. And whatever they don't have, they can have tomorrow. So, and that must be for me. But yeah, that uh, canner, the pressure's out, so I'm going to take those out. This is what you were sitting on. Yep. So let me get you set up and we'll take a look at these jars. All right. Gosh. Kind of a busy day. I hope they all sealed. I hope they all sealed. I hope they all sealed. They're probably, yeah, it looks like they're already all sealed. But you notice I um, lift the lid away from my face, otherwise you get steamed right up in your face. That's not good. Let's take the gander. Look at that. Mm-hmm. You see there's some water down there, but of course there's still some water in the tomatoes and stuff like that. But you just give it a good shake. It's all good. Right. Perfect, perfect. There we go, they're still piping hot. I couldn't touch these with my bare hands. over there. Mm-hmm. All right, three more. The water in here is a little like yellow, but when you're canning some of the some of whatever you're canning whether it's meat, some of the grease and stuff comes out, you'll notice if I was canning <clears throat> hamburger or deer meat like I did not too long ago. Um, the jars are a little greasy and you gotta wash them. I wash my jars anyways, but um, it's just that any air in there being pushed out. So you can't help but have a little bit. So I wash my canner too. Like if I was canning more of this, I would just rinse it out and put fresh water in. So there. All right, I'll bring you over. Look at that. Just look at it. It's not a big haul, but if we had taken these out as soon as the pressure thing went down, they'd still be kind of bubbling, but they're still super hot. But they've all sealed already, so we're not gonna hear the ping ping. But yeah, seven quarts for the winter. Right, another basket, more towels. All right, friends, well, it's 2.38. 
Violet has her halter top on because she's all snazzy and stuff. So we're just outside waiting for the kids to get home on the bus. They should be here, I don't know, anytime under 10 minutes. But I'm going to start a new one. So I'll just sit here. It's actually nice in the sun. It's, it's not like hot, but I wouldn't want to sit in the shade without a sweater, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, we'll just wait here and... I brought out a carbonate of water because I'm fancy. Uh, lemon one. And just wait for the children. Oh, I hear it coming down the tracks. Here they come, Violet. Here they come. I made it to page 15. So, nice little start. Didn't even crack my water though. But let's see how they made out. How was school? Oh, you got your Chromebook. Okay. Is it the same one from last year? Oh. No, I'm kind of upset about that. Oh well. Oh. Violet, leave your brother alone. Oh, she loves you, mate. Hey, you better leave that alone. My battery pack. I'm thirsty. You're thirsty? Come here. I'm Friday. Come over Saturday. We'll have a Sunday. Get it? Get it? Nobody's paying attention to me. <laughs> oh, are they? Oh, yeah, they're over there. They might be. Can you open that for him, please? Thank you. Well, Dad got tenders and stuff, but I have raw pie pie in the oven, so you guys pick what you want. What you, what you, what you want, what you want. Well, what tenders and other stuff? I think there's wedges, maybe onion rings. I don't know. I didn't look in the boxes. Violet. And I have raw pie pie in my lunch. Oh, yeah, my thermos. Okay. Did, did people... Smell your curry. Oh yeah, my I, I showed off. I showed off. Yeah, Mazai is the only one that brought curry to in her thermos. Curry yeah, and I rice. Some. Well, well, you had extra last night. I I uh, I asked for. Extra. I know you you called dibs on it, so you took yeah. the last of it. Maze, I guess you were thirsty. Look at that! You sucked the bottle right in. Yeah, I couldn't have any water. Pucker power. Because I forgot what to say to like. Can you open my water bottle and Well, if you're Mario, that thirsty, that. just say it in English. She's going to be able to run around. But she doesn't let us. Say, say ouvre. No. And then show her the thing. Isn't that ouvre la porte? Isn't that open the door? No, the window? How do you say that? What? Ouvre mon potato. <laughs> Your potato? Potato! <laughs> Can I look over? Can yes, they're gone now. Stuff that went on the rice stuff? No, the curry chicken. No, there isn't. All right. Go get Zaya. Go get Zaya. Where's Zaya? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, go get her. Go get her. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> she almost pushed the chair over. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Over to Elliot's, of course. She'll come right back over, probably. Oh, don't. She's going oh. the other way around. She's, uh, Misha found a mushroom. She's coming around the house. Violet! <laughs> For goodness sakes, woman. Go see where your sister is, Meester. Um, Just came. She's over here now, Zaya. <laughs> What were you doing? She is a rascal. I can't even, I don't want to make you guys dizzy because she's going so fast. Violet! She's going over to Saritha's, for goodness sakes. I just don't want her in the friggin' road. I know one of you guys said about an invisible fence. I don't know how those work and it, whether it would be feasible here. She's on the road. Oh, just a minute. Violet Anastasia! Does she got her? For 
goodness sakes. Is she coming up this way? Oh, she's our way the hell, way the hell down there for con. Yeah, that's not acceptable. Not acceptable. Come here, Violet. I'm not happy. Misha, come here. Violet. She's being a bit of a brat right now. She is being a bit of a brat. I thought you were about to say something else, Saya. Is she turning into <laughs> an angsty teen? An angsty teen? Oh, gosh. Yeah, we need to put her back on the leash. Yeah, I'm about... Did she burp in your face? No. <laughs> Did you breathe in her out air? <laughs> This way. Yeah. Not acceptable behavior, woman. Why are you always doing that? There's no cat over there or anything. No. no Goodness cat. sakes. All right. Come here. You're going on the leash. Violet, come here. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy Mays. All right. I need to get that leash. Oh, Misha got her... Uh, her proofs or whatever if you oh stop her school pictures I bet you the other ones did too I'll have to check it out oh look at Maze's what a handsome young man you are Maze and now compare it to me doing the smile oh yeah there it is there's that magic smile cutie patootie mm -hmm. Pickles? No, they're packages that you can buy if you want, but this is Maze and Maze's communication thing. He has star stickers on all the days. He's doing so good. Oh, it's hanging on this chair Maze is sitting on. And this, what does this say, Maze? Uh, every child matters. Every child matters is right. Is that what it says? Well, what does it here? Say? How do you say that in French, Saya? What? Uh, what part? The t shirt. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Every child matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you got a Terry Fox run certificate. Yeah. Well, good for you. You did 30 laps. Yeah. Sheesh. Where can I put my non touch screen on? All right. I just got this out of the oven. It's done. I shut the oven off. But some of them want tenders and wedges and onion rings. And I'll see what Marquise and Kara want. They'll probably eat this. But Mazai wants this in her lunch kettle tomorrow. So if there's some left over, she'll be bringing this for school lunch. All right, friends. Well, I'm going to end this video now. It's after supper. There's one little corner piece of rapid pie. And I packed it away for Azalea's lunch because she did request it. Everybody's eaten. And there's no leftovers. So, yeah. <laughs> But thanks for hanging out with me today. It was fun doing those tomatoes. I hadn't done tomatoes in so long. It makes me want to scrounge around for more tomatoes to do more. But it's kind of getting late in the season now. So what you going to do? But, and that mushroom powder is pretty cool. So I am going to take ideas and see if I can implement them. And get creative. Hone some more skills. So, anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. Oh, and I just, uh, I had this edited up until now. But Mazaya did get pictures, but she forgot them at school. So she'll bring them tomorrow, and we'll look at them then. She wants to get retakes, though. She said it's a funny face, so... Anyways, is it feeling better? No, but it's cold. Oh yeah, I bet it is cold. She hurt her finger, so I gave her an ice pack. Mm. A giant one. Well, it's that or a hard brick. Mmm. How do I have to take a bottle? Well, just till it feels better. You don't have to. It just it might help the swelling go down or whatever. Running up the stairs with a Nerf gun, and she tripped and slammed her finger. So. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Boink.